good day. It is a beautiful day today, March 11th. Um, beautiful sunny day. And it is time to prune blueberries. I'm a little late this year. This is uh, March 11th. You can usually prune anywhere from oh mid-February to middle of March. Uh, and try to do it before the, the bud break. And our bud break here in Oregon is usually around oh April or so. So um, I'm going to do a little video on some pruning and see uh, if we can uh, learn something together. Thanks. So we've got about 250 blueberry plants and most of them are blue crop, which is what these are, and uh, legacies. And then over against the fence line over there, we have a variety of, oh, probably eight or nine different varieties of blueberries. So, oh, I've got about two rows, so, oh, maybe 30 bushes I've pruned. These here, like I said, are the blue crops, and these are pruned. And as you can find on YouTube, probably a dozen or so different variety or different videos showing you how to prune. Um, with this variety, the, the blue crops, they produce so many berries. As you can see, these stems here, all these berry buds, these big fat ones right here. These are where the berries are going to form. You're going to get you know, five, ten berries per bud. And these are pretty tall bush. I'm, I'm six foot, and they're, they're taller than I am. So um, they're spaced about four feet. You got 25 bushes per row. And these are six-year-old plants. So as you can tell, on this bush here, we've got a lot of new growth stems with a lot of buds on them. There's not a lot of old growth canes or twiggy canes because they've been pruned out. And um, I'll show you on a bush here what I do to uh, an old bush or at least a bush before I prune it and we'll look at it after I prune it. So here's another blue crop and it hasn't been pruned. And you can look and you can sort of see stems here like this one here. Get it up to where you can see it. Not a lot of growth, not a lot of buds. It looks almost dead or unproductive. So you sort of follow that one down. That's a pretty big cane down there. That's an older cane. So each year I'll come out here and, and I do prune every year. Um, have since these were planted six years ago. And I'll probably start by just taking out two, probably two old canes. And the old canes are, are pretty easy to spot. They've got a, a gray color to them. They got almost like a, a leafy bark that comes off. And, um, and they tend to get less productive than the newer canes. You know, one like this. And then you'll get, even off on the old canes, you'll get some decent growth growing off of them at the top. So um, just to thin out the bush, I take one or two old canes. And then I start, uh, start from the bottom and sort of work my way up. So here's an older cane that I've removed, as you can tell. It's an old woody cane. A lot of the bark is peeling off. You get up into the top end and there are buds on this. And you think, well, man, I don't want to do that. I'm getting rid of berries. But you really need to get rid of these older canes to let the new growth try to get pushed and started to where you get better berries. So compare it to this cane here. And this thing's probably seven foot tall, but at the very top you got the berry buds. So as you come down here, this, this cane has got just an awful lot of little leaf nodes. The nodes are these little little spots right here. And that's where next year's berries are gonna come off. There'll be a lateral coming off of that that node or start of, a, of a, a limb. And this is a really healthy cane. It's not woody looking, it's not weak. 
and it was right next to that cane that I just cut off. So I want this cane to develop more than that other cane. So that's why that older cane got, got removed. So you just sort of look at the, the base of your plant, pick out the ones that look old and, and weak. But you want to leave some of them because you don't want to prune out all your old ones because then all your younger canes will age at the same time and get old and and not productive at the same time, then you'll have a bush that doesn't produce berries. So it's best to select prune and thin out the bush and just make it more vigorous for producing next year's berries. Because you're actually pruning, this spring I'm pruning for next year's harvest. Now these berries, uh, they're a heavy producing berry. They get a lot of berries on these. And these canes, and once they're loaded with berries, they'll, they'll be bending all the way to the ground. And uh, so I've run a, um, a wire, a support wire, full length on either side of the, the bushes. And that just keeps the, the canes from bending over so much, hitting the ground. Makes it easier to mow around because, believe it or not, not so much on the blueberries, but down lower on the legacies, um, it's tough to get my mower between the bushes because they, they get so productive and they fall over so much without that that wire support. So some of you might be wondering, what do you do with a plant that, that just doesn't look good at all? I mean, there, there's not really a lot of growth, not a lot of buds. You know, what do you throw it away and start over again? And I've been real fortunate. All my, my plants have, have done really well. They've all been very healthy. But um, I did have one, sort of the runt. Debated whether uh, I should just pull it up and throw it away, but I'll give it another try, but but this is something that you can do. Um, it looks like it's pretty drastic, but I got a feeling it might come back. I uh, wish I would have videoed this before I, I did the pruning, but I, I, I basically got rid of everything that wasn't doing well. And I pruned it right down to the, the crown of the plant, but it had one cane. That was doing good and had good buds, good leaf nodes here. All these, all these little, little buds right here, they call them a leaf node. And it, it's almost better to have more leaf nodes than the big fat berry buds. Because then you're going to get a lot more growth during the summer on those leaf nodes which will produce your berries for next year. So this cane here is actually a really good looking cane. And we'll see how it does during the summer and uh, we'll maybe take a look at it um, next fall and see how it produced.